hi good morning everyone so in this video i'm going to share you about uh, the details about uh, generally we think why do we get more mm opportunities compared to warehouse opportunities so let me see that uh, the comparison so why do we see more mm openings whether it is ecc sap mm or s hana mm so why do we get more mm related openings compared to warehouse so let us go to the topic and uh, how do we see that mm more openings and all so let us check this okay so if you see that mm related thing After a long time, I started using the Google Meet. Yeah. So if you see this MM wise, uh, we have mainly business like you can say procurement and inventory management. When it comes to procurement, so when it comes to the procurement, we have a, a stock and non-stock. So you do the stock-based procurement for the regular uses or sales, trade business, or for manufacturing, or uh, to use in the uh, within company for any other purpose, you do the stock procurement. A non-stock procurement, like in services or events, or certain kind of uh, cleaning services or uh, electrical, these all kind of non-materialistic services, and also certain uh, one-time activities. We just do it, and you don't maintain inventory. The entire service will be activated. You can say wherever, no stock, non-stock related thing. So when you see this non-stock and stock related, two procurements are available, and both. Uh, if you go for the stock level, so most of the companies, the stock level procurement, they go and use the. SAP MM. If you see that overall SAP implementation, we uh, use SAP MM to manage the stock level procurement. So here SAP MM openings are available. When it comes to non-stock, non-stock, uh, most of the companies, I cannot say exact percentage, maybe 60, 70% of companies will go again SAP MM. Okay, here SAP means again SAP MM, they will go. And very few companies uh, for uh, non-stock they might go to any non-sap things okay so here the non-sap uh, things like uh, it can be paupa or any other kind of a small tool they might use for the non-stock related procurement but uh, when it comes to uh, sap wise either sap mm means ecc sap mm or s4 hana procurement or ariba anything can be used so i use the word called sap so it will all the modules will come to picture so here, when it comes to procurement related business, mostly SAP MM, 80% or 70% is being used and 20% maybe Ariba or 60 MM or 20 to 25 Ariba without MM. But still MM will be interlinked everywhere like Metal Master or certain kind of procurement processes and very few companies will go for the non-SAP. So non-SAP, it can be COPA or any other tools in the market also can be use it for the same thing. So now what about uh, inventory management? When you have this inventory management, there are the high level three kind of scenarios we see. The first one, the companies who doesn't want any kind of warehouse management, they don't want to maintain the stock at the bin level, they are okay to manage the storage location level and their inventory may not be used and they can still manage with uh, storage location, how to identify how much stock is available. They don't want to go to the bin level, scanning or else even ma managing the stock at the bin level, they don't need it. They will go for the SAP inventory management, which is part of SAP MM. So the companies who are just using inventory management without any storage bin, they are okay to manage the storage, the entire stock at the storage location level. Another category that who wanted to implement SAP, who wanted to implement the warehouse management. So when they want to implement warehouse management, we have for ECC SAP warehouse management or S4 HANA extended warehouse management. Even this ECC warehouse management is already available in S4 HANA in the name of stockroom management. So when they want to have a warehouse, 
then they will go for the either SAP WM or EWM. Nowadays, mostly they go for EWM. A very few companies uh, will go for the SAP stockroom management, especially the companies who are migrating from ECC to S4 HANA. There are, uh, I, don't know, I can't say the percentage exactly, but 30, 40 percentage or 25 percentage people may go for the SAP S4 HANA stockroom management and remaining EWM, which is the currently SAP wise the lead leader in the entire warehouse related things. So there is a third category also. Still, there is a competition. So the still third category will be 3PL warehouse. What will happen? Their warehouse is being managed. The company's warehouse is being managed by a third party thing. They might have a small warehouse uh, system. It's a simple thing to manage their inventory, scanning the serial numbers, and managing the stock, bin net, and all. So they will manage everything. They will take care. We don't have to worry. Only we need to they will have interfaces. Like uh, if you watch our uh, few videos about 3PL, so I explained the, how the data flow, like materials, purchase orders, inbound delivery, outbound delivery, goods issue, all these kind of a process flows will happen between 3PL and SAP. So in this case, no WM or no WM, still IM will be there because the 3PL will send the only the quantity, material, storage location, plant, if they do any goods issue or uh, if they do any goods received, along with that, they will send the purchase order or inbound delivery. So in IM level, SAP will show you IM level only, but uh, the WM will be managed with non-SAP system, which is managed by that warehouse. Even within our own warehouse also, they may go for a certain kind of warehouse systems like a blue under, okay, or any other kind of uh, warehouse systems other than SAP WM. So now you can see here, in procurement, SAP MM stock procurement, almost 90% of business, non-stock, maybe 60% or 50% based on Ariba and other things. So you have non-stock related business scenarios, you have a lot of opportunities and stock related. When it comes to inventory management, if the company doesn't want any kind of WM, then IM will play the role. And if they go for 3PL warehouse also, still IM will be there. Because after IM only, you will extend to the warehouse. So that is the reason why do we see that more number of MM openings. If you take it 10 openings among MM and WM, you may see that 6 to 7 MM openings and 3 only WM. So that kind of a difference is available. So that is the reason. And uh, when you have a 3, you still need people. Because if everybody wanted to learn only MM, don't want to learn WM means, of course, uh, 100 people learn, but only 70 jobs like that, right? So we need to uh, learn both modules slowly, or initially you'll get an idea, whatever opportunity you get it, whether you get a warehouse management, you can start. But uh, the main beauty of SAP MM is whether you go for um, uh, warehouse management or uh, extended warehouse management, even sales and distribution or transportation management, but the base material that vendor Okay, the base procurement process, at least you can say like the material driven thing. Okay, so the inventory managing, the valuation, inventory valuation, material valuation, all these concepts are under MM. So that uh, MM will be always playing key role whether you, what kind of module you are going to learn. You should have, for example, a person who is working in management, he doesn't need it any kind of um, Whereas management knowledge, because his IM and procurement is enough. But for the WM consultant, he must know about what is MM and how does MM work and what are the uh, core functionalities, how you're integrating with inventory management, all these things, he should know it. I hope you got a clarity. Why do we see more MM openings than WM? At the same time, if everybody wanted to learn MM and uh, less people wanted to learn EWM, then uh, more opportunity you will find in EWM compared to MM because of the competition. You can manage, you can learn whatever module you chose, give your best, please practice. Don't go for a shortcuts, only interview questions or without practicing, just reading something or watching something. Or few people are extreme level, uh, not even preparing, they want to get a job. So please change such kind of a people mindset. Keep learning and keep growing. All the best and thanks a lot for all of your support on Udemy with your ratings and YouTube by sharing your, uh, our videos. 
and comments by giving lot of blessings and which is motivating me to make more videos thank you see you soon with another video